Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on character's death ability. So here, let me show you. I can kill characters and once the character is killed, I no longer get any blood trails even if I keep attacking here. And also my character is not blocked from the capsule of the dead character. So these things will be handled. So here we are going to add a new gameplay ability called death to manage the dead state. So earlier also we had this uh, ragdoll simulation effect for the death but we didn't have a separate ability for that so that by having a separate ability we can define conditions like once the character is dead what are the gameplay abilities that should be blocked uh, for a dead character and what are the gameplay abilities that should not repeat and also death itself should happen only once so that kind of uh, rules can be defined using gameplay tags and block tags on the gameplay abilities so yeah let's see how to do this today and as always everything will be properly uh, replicated over the network as you see in this demonstration and in case you're not familiar this is the 18th part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series that I am doing so all the episodes are available in this playlist I'll have a link in the description below and also the project files for this project is available for you to download in the code like me patreon page you can download it once you become a member actually not just this project you can download all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel for the membership so you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave a link in the description below and let's get back to today's tutorial all right so at the moment the way that i have created the death effect is just like this here uh, i have this on update health uh, update health function and here I get the new health so actually this is coming from the attribute set that I have defined in C++ and here if the new health is less than or equal to zero I just activate uh, all bodies below simulate physics so I activate ragdoll mode of the character so this is all I do as for the depth of the character but because of that we have some problems let me show you right now if I pick a character let's try from a server and here let's go to this NPC guy now you get the blood and the character is already dead but if I attack again here as you see I still get blood that's and also my character uh, here we you see here I get my character collides with the capsule of the other character as well even though it's not visible here so also so what I want to do is I need to use uh, another gameplay ability instead of just doing this uh, so that we can avoid having blood trails when the character is already dead actually we can prevent calling the damage functions when the character is already dead if i am to use a, if i had used the ability okay now let's create gameplay ability i'll choose well i don't really want to do much here so let me just select gameplay ability i'll call it ga Death. okay now as the ability tag what should I use well I don't have a category for like character state related ability so perhaps 
let's define something character dot state dot death no let's do something like this character event dot death I'll choose gameplay tags any add new tag and I'll mark it character event death as the gameplay tag ability tag and this should be blocked if the character is already dead so here I'll use uh, character state dead so if the character is already dead I should not activate this ability right and also I define another gameplay effect GE death so here I'll add component gameplay where do I modify tags target tags gameplay effect component okay add tags I'll add character state dead tag using this effect so now in the death gameplay ability I'll add apply gameplay effect to owner and as the effect I'll choose GE death right okay so when the character is getting killed I need to activate that ability so I think uh, death is a default ability the character should have so here under the default abilities I'll add GA death and then here uh, I'll call let me get to reference to the ability system component and activate ability by tag try activate ability by tag and the tag is character event death like this and I should trigger this event only if this ability is activated so this should this will basically happen only once because once I activate the death gameplay ability this gameplay effect will apply this tag and the duration I'll set it to infinite otherwise it will be applied and then removed so when the character is dead it's dead it should stay dead so therefore this tag should remain in the character so I'll make the duration policy infinite okay what else so one more thing so I here the way I activate the blood trail on the sword is here where is the GA light attack okay here I have this activate blood, blood trail so basically if I have any character within the range I activate the blood trail but that's not the way it should be so here we send the gameplay event replicated to the actors that I hit so here I activate through this gameplay event active I activate react dot sword gameplay ability that means this one G A hit react sword right now here okay this hit reaction 
should be blocked if the character is already dead so i'll block abilities oh no wrong activation block tag i'll let this and then here i get a reference to instigator so from the instigator i can get weapon and then I can call uh, what's the blood trigger blood like this right they should now activate the blood trail let's test I, I think I made a mistake here this one block tag should be activation block tag should be character state or dead not event or death and also i think this part actually should happen regardless of this because of replication purposes let's test right here let's try with the server first client first let me kill this guy okay see uh, something is wrong with the particle effect of the sword but regard despite that you can see no more blood trail is happening so character is already dead Let's now try with the server. Got blood, got blood, got blood. Okay. No blood. No blood. All right. Also, to avoid colliding with the dead character's capsule, we may disable the collision of the capsule here. Set collision enabled to no collision. Hmm. I wonder if this causes any warnings. Let's try. yeah i'm no longer blocked by the capsule of the dead characters okay cool so that's actually and also it replicates correctly one more thing one small thing so when the character is dead we need to disable uh, movement capabilities of the character so for that uh, we can do something like this moments and also inputs so we can get our uh, actor and cast to character or, or we could set up a interface event as well but let's just try this way and then disable moment also i think actually if I go disable input instead of movement well I'll call both so this will help you to this will avoid making like being able to jump or giving any kind of movement inputs when the character is dead so at this part too so that's all I want to do for in this episode and thanks for watching so updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and feel free to let me know what you guys thinks and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode and goodbye